Hello, good day. This is Eric. Today, I would like to discuss using window-based application. Let's have an interface or GUI or our Eclipse program. So, to do that one, let me have uh, a new project for that. So, this time, let's create a project and name it as my window so just click for the environment and then print. click this fence here don't have the module for now and let's create a project that would give us a window as you can see I have here my window builder already but if you don't have this window builder yet you could go to help then go to Eclipse marketplace and search for window builder window builder so let's search for window builder here I have here the window builder 1.9.2 installed and then installing that one is the reason why I see my new okay, folder for window builder so this would allow us to create a window application so click the swing designer and click the application window click next then let's say my first window up some name like that and click finish so it gives us already the codes for our window so there will be two tabs here one for the source and one for the design so as you can see let me make it bigger by clicking this one and adjust our window so here in this palette you would see some settings of your layout and the components if i would want to have a button here just click in here button and position somewhere else in your window you can name that one by clicking double clicking that one because uh, start or something like that the design as you can see that turns to start if i could have here the color for my foreground say orange and the background would be something like uh, gray okay i would have also changed the size into a bigger one Make it bold. I think the gray is not visible, so let's turn that into blue for now. Mm -hmm. And this one program. Hmm. So this would be our chrome. But if you notice, Everything has uh, inside the window is the color blue. But if I'm going to use, let me undo everything here. If I'm going to use the absolute layout, something like this, then click onto that area and let's put the bottom here. See that? That's the purpose of absolute layout. So only position for that particular area of your window. And I would have to put another color for our background. And our foreground would be something like blue. I would want to make it bigger again. Adjust this one if I wanted to. Okay, 
then if I would need text field so that I could put in here something like that so I could change the name of my button here let's say um, star if I click onto that one it will go to your code for that start button if I need to put in for example something like would allow me to uh, display a dialog box I could use in the code J option that uh, say the pane that would show a message something like the dialog box okay dialog then it would give us uh, something like value for now this time is now then whatever be the message we would like to display so, welcome to the jungle something like this so let us see if this works the option that would be period so for that one Let's see if this would work. It's a okay, case sensitive. Mm, Java. Let's try this code. It will work now. So there is an error. The option pane cannot be resolved. So there's something missing for this code. I believe so. What we need here is draw shoot that one. Show message the option pin. Okay. So I think we need to put in that. Option in here. I don't have that one. Let us see. As you can see, there is no library for this one, so you need to include that one in your import variable. Okay. This time that should be J option. Oh. Option. Okay, let us try this code. Start. It prompts you a dialog box. What if I'm going to display my output in this text field? So go to the design. You can change the name of your text field here. You can place in my text field example like that. Something yeah. went wrong. Please try again. I could put in here a code that would help me display my string so to do that of course you need the code that will display as the text field so the value would be let us try commenting this out that would be my text that's the name of my text then call in setting the text value would be ever be the string that you would like to display so let us call in this string as our output whenever you press in the button. So save your work, run your program, click start. See, so this is the code for your window application in Java. Thank you.